Haiti was devastated by an earthquake. 230,000 people were killed, 189,000 homes destroyed. Tonight, many Haitians are still suffering despite the billions in relief that's poured in from all around the world. So where has it all gone? Cheryl Atkinson tonight follows the money. 120 days after the earthquake, more than 1.5 million Haitians remain homeless, many living amid utter devastation. Yet enough aid has been raised to give each displaced family a check for $37,000. So why are so many still going hungry and living under flimsy shelters? Yo, yo, I'm say. The little known truth is most of the $14.9 billion that's been donated will be used on long-term projects to rebuild Haiti. Mark Weisbrot is a former economic consultant to Haiti. The organizations that already have money should be spending it right now. This is emergency relief. We wanted to find out what has been spent so far. So the past several weeks, our CBS News investigation looked at five major nonprofits, CARE, Catholic Relief Services, the Red Cross, the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund, and the separate Clinton Foundation Haiti Fund. Only the Clinton Bush Fund and the Clinton Foundation refuse to answer our questions, despite repeated emails and phone calls. Their websites say they've collected about 51 million donor dollars, but have only spent about 7 million, less than one-seventh. The other charities gave us breakdowns. The Red Cross has raised $444 million and spent about 25 percent of it, 55 million for emergency relief such as food and kitchen items, 42.9 million for shelter, including tarps, tents, and blankets. CARE has raised 34.4 million and spent about 16 percent, 2.5 million on shelter. And at Catholic Relief Services, of $165 million committed to Haiti, it spent no more than 8 percent, 2.5 million on food, 1.28 million on emergency shelter. The charities argue they've already helped millions and would get criticized if they spent too much up front instead of addressing the long term. We spoke to CARE's Gary Philoctet in Haiti. But at the same time, we move quickly. We move also prudently with uh, spending the funds so that we ensure that the investment is made prudently. As head of the American Red Cross, Gail McGovern is well aware of prior scandals where the Red Cross was accused of collecting money for one cause but spending it on another. Can you tell the public today that every dime raised by the American Red Cross for Haiti will be spent on Haiti? Minus the nine cents overhead, 91 cents on the dollar will be going to Haiti. And I give you my word and my commitment. I'm banking my um, integrity, my own personal sense of integrity on that statement. It's too soon to get the most detailed accounting. Each nonprofit has its own policing mechanisms like independent audits and advisory committees. They each say they can show with great precision where nearly every penny is going, but that will take time. Bill Canney leads emergency operations for Catholic Relief Services, which has spent the least proportionally of the charities we looked at. If there's so much money to be had, why hasn't it made it? to the people yet. Our donors don't just ask that we spend money quickly, they ask that we spend money on quality programs uh, that are transparent and for which we can account. With so many billions of dollars in the mix, one thing's clear, there's plenty to spend money on and no shortage of questions about how and when it will be used. Cheryl Atkinson, CBS News, Washington.